as you know, I post a lot of Rubble League Live 4 videos, and I do get a lot of requests to play with teams, and I try to mix things up a little bit, but obviously I'm going to miss a couple. Now, I haven't really played with the Broncos too much, and when I was streaming last night, I was getting lots of requests to play as the Broncos. In fact, I even played as the Broncos, and I played the game I'm going to be playing today. However, all the rosters were different, so I ended up playing as the Broncos. I lost. Now, we're going to be jumping back on Rubble League Live 4, but this time we're going to be playing with the lineups that I think is going to be picked this week. Obviously, when I'm recording, the lineups haven't been announced, but I'm sort of basing it off last week, also adding in a few players this week. But it's definitely going to be a different side to the one that I played with on my stream. The Roosters aren't going to have Boyd Corner and Jake Friend and the Morris boys and all that. And I think from memory I went pretty close to winning anyway, so I am confident going into this game that I can get a victory over the Roosters. Now we're just about to jump onto Rebel League Live 4, but before we do that, I just want to give a special shout out to Drum Clothing for coming aboard the channel. They were nice enough to send me a few pieces of clothing, including this beanie. It's a really nice one. I know a lot of you guys have been buying the beanie as well and have been buying a lot of drum clothing. So if you're into surf, skate and streetwear, definitely go check them out. Drum.com.au is their website. Link is in the description. Go and check them out. Also, at it, go ahead and give this video a like if you happen to enjoy it. Also, give me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. It's Mr. Luke just for Facebook for everything else. It is Mr. Luke and YT. Now we got all the plugs out of the way. Let's jump into Rebel League Live 4. Alrighty, we're in Rebel League Live 4. Same settings as always. Veteran difficulty, 7 minute hard. Sun Club Stadium. It is going to be on Friday night and it is at night. So it's going to be Friday night. I don't know what the conditions are going to be. So we're just going to do random. Uh, but look, I'm really excited to get into this game. I'll just give a quick little look at the lineup. You can see there. It's a pretty decent side for both of these sides. I mean, the Rooster side is a little bit strange. You've got Tupinua there. They named Dale Copley last week, but he didn't end up playing. Tupinua ended up playing in the centers. I was sort of considering chucking Tupinua back into the forwards and then Copley on the wing, but I decided to just keep it as it was last week. Tupinua in the center, Joey Manu on the wing. That seems to be how they're rocking it in real life at the moment. Joey Manu on the wing rather than in the centers. So that's the side we're going to go for the Roosters, but look, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the game. And we got rainy conditions. Not exactly what I was after, but nonetheless, Broncos up against the Roosters. Like I said on stream, the Roosters ended up beating me. I had a pretty good start. I'm pretty sure and then Roosters sort of took over. This is a very, very good side from the Roosters, regardless of all the injuries. Um, and even the jersey actually looks really nice here too. I want to mention that. Ned Busher in the second row. Like I said, Tupanua usually in the second row. He's playing in the centers. Uh, the bench is a little bit weak for them though. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. Alex Glenn leading out the Broncos. Speaking of weak benches, I think the Broncos have a very weak bench. In terms of Rubber League Live 4 cents anyways. Um, we've got Payne Haas. Last time I played, I was using a 75. I think default rated Payne Haas. This time we got 88 rated Payne Haas. So I'm expecting a big performance from him. And hopefully we can just roll through the forwards and then get it out to Herbie Farmer for someone who can score some points. Alrighty, so we have right footed Adam Kieran getting the game underway. Super weird seeing him kick right footed considering I'm pretty sure he's left lefty in real life. But Danny Levi, nice little run. No Jake Turpin as well. Pretty boy Ricky, can he get through the gap? No, he can't, but it's still a fairly decent run. Okay, Brody Croft gets it underway. The man departing the Broncos next year. Come on, make the tackle. And there's a the set. That's not what we want. Joey Mano, James Tedesco, Daniel Tupo. That's a pretty formidable back three. A lot of space there for Jesse Arthurs. On the back foot too. Jesse Arthur saves on Tedesco. Probably won't have the speed, but we just take, take the meters as much as we can. Oh, he's actually got some support here. Got some support. We're actually going to score. Corey Oates is over. I can't believe he just scored. That was so, so easy. I was waiting for them to make the tackle. I was waiting for a prop to run us down, to be honest. But Tedesco had the opportunity. We just kept running and eventually gets to Corey Oates. He's over in the corner. Great little try there. So we've got Jermaine Nisako here. It's going right to left. I don't know how much it's going to curve. It's sort of coming back a bit and we end up missing. 4-0. Look, it's an okay score. Would have loved to have kicked the goal, but I'll take the first drive. Go, Asako, Asako again. We're ripping apart the Roosters forwards here. And especially with these Broncos backs, they're not exactly superstars. So this is kind of strange. And there we go. There we go. Such a strong start. And I throw it all away with an intercept. Considering the field position, the Roosters have done absolutely nothing with it. And they kick it into their own player. Great pressure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Payne Haas. Payne Haas. Get it. Get it. There we go. Payne Haas gets it. Check. Go, go. Corey Oates is over for a second. He is over for a double. How easy is this? Are the Roosters actually going to attempt to try it? Are they going to try this game? Because I'm finding this way too easy. Imagine this happened in real life. Trent Robinson would literally be going straight through the coach's box, straight through the window. He'd be right out there just slapping players in the face. He'd be screaming at them. He'd be doing something. Payne Haas. Pounds off a player. Oh, I was going to say through Tedesco. I tried for the shoulder barge. It didn't work out. Would have been sick, but imagine he ran length of the field. Oh, there we go. Oh, we had a player in the middle there. Number 11. I think it was Ricky. No, it was Alex Gunn, actually. We had him in support, too. If we got through, might have been able to just draw and pass. And there we go. There's the drop ball. There is the error that I was expecting. Oh, here we go. Wasn't even trying to pass to him. Back through the middle. Oh, it's Herbie Farmworth. Doesn't have the speed. They just wrap us up. But still, we are attacking so well. How am I playing like this one game and playing like shit others? Let's try and get it. Try and get it, Oates. I was going to say, try and get it, Oates. 
There we go. Knock on, knock on. I was going to say, how dare the Rooster do that? But we're looking for an ice hat trick. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Oh, he's on the sideline. And, oh, it's in touch. Is that our ball? Is that our ball? Please be our ball. Please, 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 please. Please, yes, it's our ball. Another chance. Another freebie. Oh, Corio, I thought he'd stepped him. I thought it was over. Come on, come on. Palazia, I don't even know who you are. We score another try. That's three tries in the first half. Saka kicks it from right in front. There we go, 16-0. I don't even know who Palazio is. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But we are up 16-0. What a great little try. Go. Look at that. Kennedy just takes him on. Oh, another one. This is another one. Oh, surprise. It's not an intercept. Corios can't get his hatchet there. Should we kick a cheeky little field goal? Nah, let's go for the try. And I should have just went for the field goal. I should have went for the field goal. Instead, we throw it in the center. Drew Hutchison gets that. And then we have it 16-0 at halftime. That is a fantastic half of football. Maybe one of the best halves I've ever played, considering the difference in quality between these sides. The Roosters have a lot of injuries, but they have some really, really good players in this side. Tedesco's still there. Joey Marnie's still there. And they're all guys that are super OP on Red League Live 4. So the fact that we kept them to nil, that is a really great achievement. So I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I think this is going to be a contest and, oh, well, maybe I might lose this one. I think we're going to win this one. It's just a matter of by how much, to be honest. So hopefully we can keep racking up the score line here. Score a couple more tries in the second half. Oh, straight through the middle. Sammy Verrills. That's a good little run there. Expose me. Oh, it's Hetherington. He's got no energy. Let's get it to Brady Croft. There's a little bit more. Go, 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 Corey. Okay, Corey's not going to get there, but that's still a fantastic run. Kobe Hetherington. My controller was literally vibrating because he had no energy left, and he still makes a line break. Tessie knew. There's an offload. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it's actually worked out all right. Up the wing. Here we go. Corey Oates. Corey Oates is over. For oh my god, he's over for a hat trick. The ankle tap saves him. Oh my god. Wrong player. Wrong player. They overran it a little bit. We'll throw a gap there. Oh my god. That's such terrible play. Have I played so well and I start doing stuff like that? Never happening. Never happening. Oh, Payne Haas. I was trying to put on a shot myself. Instead, he gets dropped. I think my heart grows too. Tessie knew. Tessie knew. He's got... Okay, I was going to say he's got no one in front of him. Instead, he gets run down within two seconds. I'm going to head out to the right here. Maybe maybe a little Corey Ice hat trick. Maybe a Corey Ice hat trick. Here we go. Corey Ice. Chip and chase. Die for the line. He's fallen over the line. Chip and chase actually worked. And Corey Ice gets his hat trick. I've got to say, Corey Ice's form has been a little bit better in the back end of the season. But for the good part of the season, he wasn't even in the side. Here he is on here scoring a hat trick with me. Oh, we got the ball. Oh my god, they got six to go as well. I got the ball and I think I might have kicked it. I don't know what I did. Probably the Roosters last play with the ball. We are not letting them score. We are not letting them score. Come on. Come on, Herbie. Come on, Herbie. Hold them to a donut. They get the ball back. They get the ball. Make the tackle. Take the tackle again. Make the tackle. There we go. Ball and more. There we have it. Bullimore makes the last tackle for us and takes the last run. I think it's very fitting. What a performance. What a win. The Roosters and Broncos absolutely destroyed the Roosters. I really didn't see that coming. Sometimes I played pretty well in Rub League Live 4. I wasn't thinking this was going to be one of them, but I'm definitely happy with that one. 22 0 against the Roosters. You'll take that any day of the week. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap up this one. If you did happen to enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes. Use the notification bell. It's way more reliable. Never miss any of my videos. Also, way out it, Go ahead and give me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook is Mr. Luke, but everything else is Mr. Luke and YT. Also, a special shout out to Drum Clothing. We're in the beanie right now. If you think it looks all right and you want to check out some of the other stuff, go and check them out. Drum.com.au. They specialize in surf, skate, and streetwear, so go and check them out. Anyways, that was the Broncos video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more content on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. See yous.